Guys, welcome to the facility. Uh, today, I'm gonna be showing y'all all our new facilities. Right over here, we have all the guys who've been drafted in the first round. So you have Von Miller, second pick, Ryan Tannehill, eighth pick, Luke Jokul, second pick, Jake Matthews, his brother actually played here with me, um, Mike Evans, um, Johnny, the legend. I'm walking down the hallways, this leads to the locker room. You got Texas and football right here. The old meeting rooms used to be back down there, but we just got new meeting rooms. I'll take y'all down to the locker room. Let's go inside the locker room, guys. Um, so every day when you walk in here, this right here usually has a special teams depth chart. We have a, a barber shop back here. So we got this whole barber shop and you can get your hair cut in here. An interesting story about this. So they never used to have a barber, but since an IL, they're able to have a barber who comes in here and cuts. Um, it's definitely a cool space. This is the training room. It's one of the biggest in the country. You don't realize how big this is for an athletic training room. Let's go back here. Um, so, Right here are these massage chairs, but there's this thing called Normatec, where you can actually get your legs compressed. These Normatecs are super good if you're sore, if you have sore quads, hamstrings, anything. I use it all the time because I get super tired after practice and I'll just come in here and I'll use Normatec. Each of us on the team actually got one for ourselves, so I use that at home also. Guys, this is the cold tub and the hot tub. If you watch one of my vlogs, you know I love the cold tub. I try to get here in the mornings and get at least two minutes in here full body. I go 30 seconds face under. Um, I would say this is one of the best cold, tomb, cold tub, hot tub rooms in the entire country in college football. Um, it's a beautiful landscape. I mean, we usually have these TVs on, we're watching ESPN, and we have these LED lights all around. It's just a beautiful scene. Guys, right here we have the underwater treadmill. So I had a hamstring injury about two years ago and I was coming in here all the time. So right here, this can move up and down and you will be running on the treadmill underwater. It can be great rehab and we're one of the few college programs that actually has something like this. And also one more thing, those TVs right there, they'll sh they have a camera view of each area of the treadmill where you can see like their movement underwater. Guys, use the fingerprint, get in here. I'm gonna show you all inside our player's lounge. This is the player's lounge in here, guys. So we have uh, ping pong tables. Um, we have a pool table. So basically this is meant for sleeping. So. Man, that was amazing. All right, so guys, right here, um, you can actually, this is where we play Xbox. We have Xboxes at every TV. Um, we play Xbox 360 on the one over there, NCAA, and then a lot of Madden, and uh, a lot of guys love to play UFC. I'd say that's the big game everybody's playing in here. Let's go see the uh, team meeting room. This is our main team meeting room. It's not yet complete, but this is our new meeting area space, and I'm gonna show you all throughout here. Go in here first. Guys, so this is the new Slocum Nutrition Center. So this is where we will be eating from now on out. This is kind of like our new space. It will be just a football only dining hall. 
Let's go outside. This is the new football indoor facility. It's actually 160 yards long. You see there's construction workers working right now because this is not fully built yet, but this is the biggest indoor complex in the country. And they built this all in one off season, which is incredible. They had a crew working 24 hours a day. They had three different crews coming in, eight hour shifts a day. I mean, it's, it's miraculous how, how quick they did this. So guys, right here, this will be the offensive walkthrough room. Guys, so this is the new defensive meeting room. Look at this, or defensive walkthroughs. Um, this will be right outside of the meeting rooms, and so they can come in here if they need to walk through anything, talk about any play, visualize it. This will be the place where they can do that. This is one of a kind. There's no other program that has something like this where they can just walk right outside their meeting room and come into an area where there's a walkthrough area. Me and Joe are currently in the new meeting rooms. So this is our new walkthrough area. And then these are the position meeting rooms over here. New position meeting room. Guys, it's the best in the country. Let's see Joe run his 40, here we go. Joe, give him your 40 yard dash, let's go. This 4-2-4 four, four, four speed right here. 4-2-4 <laughs> four, four speed. Okay, Joe. Okay, Joe. So this turf right here, this is AstroTurf. Um, and as you can see, this is 100 yards right here, but this goes 160 yards in all. Um, so you usually have the offense on this side and the defense on this side, and then defense scout team, offense scout team. Right now, I am a defense scout team. So I'm usually with the offense over here. So these doors right here usually open and you can run out to the practice fields. Let's exit right here. So strength conditioning can come in here um, and they have an area over there where they all work out. Right now there's construction, so it'll be hard to show you that area. Um, let's walk out here. So this is the practice area, 160 yards. This is humongous. Let's walk over here. Let's walk on shine on these practice fields. Joe is a new walk on on the team. Introduce yourself. Like Joe could low key be like a receiver. No, I couldn't. I suck. What's your 40? 439. You know I'm on a 439. I, um, in high school, and they timed it with a stopwatch. So it didn't really count, but I'm just going to call it that I ran a 439. Most likely Stop a 439. Stop the count. 
Okay, Joe. He moved it. He definitely moved it. It's hard to get underneath, dude. Joey in the wilderness, lead us. Um, I don't know where we're going. But... Okay, Joe. One for one. Two for two. Three for three. Four for four. Five for five. Oh, he ruined it. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.